This conference will now be recorded. Uh, we'll now um, they'll be able to find your your uh, find you and the slots that you have available. So once you've filled in this information, um, you can now proceed to creating your available schedules. So to do that, we just go into schedule slots, click on new, and you can specify whether this, um, this schedule is for telemed or for a clinic. If it's for a face-to-face -face clinic, then we need to indicate uh, where, where the consultations are going to be done. Um, so for now, since we're discussing uh, um, schedules for telemed, uh, so we select telemedicine, we select the dates um, that we want to create schedules for. So you can do it for an entire month, a week, or just for a few days. Uh, it's really up to you. So here, click on uh, the dates that you want to indicate. Uh, you can specify for what days you want the schedules created for. So for instance, uh, 10 a.m. to 12 noon, uh, and then uh, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, you can even set, uh, if you want to select, uh, um, so we have no restrictions as far as the hours are concerned, so you can select 5, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah, if those are the hours that you want to make available. Uh, then we indicate our default length for our standard length for a consultation. So the default value there is 15, but you're free to change that uh, to fit the needs or how long your consultations typically are. Then you can also indicate if there should be a gap in between your schedule. So if you want uh, there to be a five minute gap between appointments, then you can indicate that that's what you want. Then you click on generate and uh, all of the schedules based on your input will be displayed. If it looks correct, then we just click on save so that these schedules now become available uh, for selection to our, to our patients. Um, so at any time, you can check your schedules to see uh, what schedules you have indicated or what schedules you have made available. At any time, you can delete these and also uh, you will see uh, which schedules already have, uh, have already been taken by a patient or have a reservation. So once we make our schedules available, let me now switch over to uh, um, the view of our patients. So patients will, uh, will be provided a, a portal, and this is where, uh, well, the first step is they'll create their account. When they create their account, they need to indicate whether they are a new, new patient or an existing patient of ours. If they're an existing patient, then um, the next step would be that someone on our staff would have to validate uh, or link them, link that online account to their PID in our database. Um, once they've, uh, well, if you're a new patient, you can proceed immediately to uh, booking your appointments. But if you're, um, if you're an existing patient, you'll need to wait until um, your PID has been linked before uh, before you can start to book. When you do get to to the point where you're booking your appointments, the patient just needs to click on new appointment. They can search by specialization, or they can select specific consultants uh, from the list that we provide. And then they can indicate whether they're looking for a telemed consult or a face-to-face. -face. Uh, then they can indicate for what date or dates they want um, to look for. So if they leave this blank, then all 
um, all dates from July 22 onwards or all available slots that match our search criteria will be displayed. So if I click on search, So if I click on search, then um, all of uh, all of the available schedules will be available now for me as a patient to select which slot uh, I want to reserve. So once we've selected a slot, just click on next, and the information we selected will be displayed. Now, as far as the patient is concerned, they need to indicate their chief complaint or the reason uh, for the consultation. So this they just type in. For now, it's just that. And also, they have an option to um, upload images. Um, upload images or files that they want the consultant to have access to their, either prior to or during the consultation. When this is all filled in, um, the next step is that they would fill in their, uh, their payment information, the amount that, uh, um, that you specified for the consultation fee will already be available to them and they'll need to pay online before the appointment is booked. Once the appointment has been booked, the next step now is as, uh, so before I get to the booking, um, the moment that, that the appointment is booked by the patient, the system will send out an SMS notification to the consultant to inform them that they do have a new appointment. So the name of the patient, the time that they selected, and the chief complaint will be sent as part of that SMS. Um, aside from that, when you log into MIS and select the date, you will see uh, any appointments that have been scheduled. So uh, I can click on this, click on open, and any information that has been filled in by the patient will be will now be visible to the consultant. If the patient is um, an existing patient of ours, and uh, our staff has already uh, scanned their charts, then when you go into the charts tab, you will see whatever whatever scans of our records. Uh, uh, it will be available here. Uh, during so any any files or images that the patient uploaded will be available here in the images and attachments tab, so that you can view them. Uh, so the first three tabs are are primarily based on what uh, what has been encoded. The next three tabs are where we are going to fill in the information or. Uh, do our uh, electronic records. So this is the part where we um, we're leaving it up to the part up to the department to define how you want the templates for these to be how you want them set up. Currently, we have samples here wherein we have text fields for history of present illness, uh, as medical history, family history. Uh, we have review of systems. Uh, and we also have uh, our assessment and plan. Um, depending on how you want to set up, it, it can be as simple as just text fields for SOAP, or we can create uh, or really customize forms that fit your, uh, your department better. Our goal here is to uh, try to minimize the amount of typing that has to be done. So. Uh, Anything that we can set up as tick boxes, uh, we'll customize it for you so that it does that. Um, as far as these forms are concerned, we can uh, we have a lot of different things that we can use. Um, we can create a blank canvas where you can um, where you can draw on it, 
or we can upload an image or a diagram and then you can um, and annotate those uh, that picture. Um, so at this point, you would now, if you're ready to start the teleconference or the teleconsult with the patient, we click on notify patient and then, and then they would now receive a SMS with a, li uh, with a link to the uh, telemedicine consult. So now uh, on your part, you would click on uh, start video conference. And as soon as you um, join the conference, then you'll now have access to, uh, to, to do your teleconsult with the patient. Um, so here, uh, this is where we would recommend that um, if you have multiple screens, um, it may be beneficial to use that so that you can put the screen for the consult on one screen and the screen for the electronic records are not on another. If you have um, another device available, then you may want to consider uh, viewing the teleconsult on that other device so that um, the screen that you're currently on can be dedicated to encoding your electronic records. Um, this is really the portion where we, um, we would like to get feedback from the different departments so that we can, we can customize and design the forms for you. Not only the forms for uh, for your for the electronic records, as well as uh, it's also the forms for um, creating prescriptions or different orders that you want uh, that you want to enter for the patient. When you create, uh, when you start your video conference, so of course the, the time that we set up for the consultation, these are really, they merely serve as guides. You're not, um, you don't have to start the consultation at the exact time that it says so in the appointment. But of course, we want as much as possible that we, uh, we stay as close to it, as, uh, as close to the time as possible so that the patients don't have to wait. Um, if you indicated that you have a 15 minute consult, you will not be cut off after 15 minutes. You're free to, uh, to hold the, or uh, stay in the video conference for as long as needed to complete your consultation. So that, that's really your call as a consultant. Um, at this point, uh, Dr. Joyce, I think this is the part where we need to discuss what um, what customizations we want to have set up for uh, for the uh, electronic records that you'll be encoding. Okay, Sir JB, I'll be introducing to you Yanyan Yan Galdones, Dr. Yanyan. Yan. She will be moderating for this uh, session. Yan, um, do you have any suggestions with regards to the EMR or the telemed that we have? put up for our department. Yan. Hello, Sir JV. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Dr. Marlon Velasco. Actually, uh, Sir JV, um, before the suggestion po muna na yung sa, 
sa customized uh, parang EMR. May yes. ask, may I ask first a question regarding muna sa patient side. Okay. Um, how are we going to tell the what is our kumbaga URL na para mabigay sa patient? Okay, the URL that we are. Uh, the URL that we uh, we were told to set up is this one: ehealth.fu-nrmf.ph. And then, when once they um, type this, directly na po dun sa unan yung pinakita. Yes. So, okay. so they'll and be then, to enter just a typ typical demographic information, and then indicate if new or ex uh, new or existing patients. Yeah. Okay. Po. The next po is where where would be the because mm -hmm. um informed consent is very important. Yes. Sa, uh, before. Part of telemedicine. Um, saan po yun part na makikita ng patient? Yes. Uh, upon signing up, we issue, uh, we display our privacy statements and also um, that they accept the terms and conditions of our services. Uh, we're still considering whether we should flash that again uh, when they book the appointment so that they're reminded of uh, reminded of it each time that they. Uh, that they create a new appointment. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, that's the that's the same question that Dr. Greg Dairit has on the group chat. I think Sir JB has answered that already. Okay. Um so kasi yung question ko po pinaano ko dun sa flow ng patient. Um after the consent um doctor side so nakapag-book na po sila ng appointment and they hindi na pinakita niyo po na pwede silang mag-reserve ng slot right yes. uh, what if although as much as possible syempre dapat we follow our schedule the telemedicine schedule yes what if a particular time uh hindi kami available for that uh yes. Schedule ng patient. Is there a way for the consultant or the, the doctor to notify the patient that uh, he won't be available for that yes. time, on that time and pwedeng mag schedule? Yes. So um, in your MIS login, we'll provide you a form wherein you can cancel uh, or indicate that you need a modification done on that schedule. Um, so there you have the option of. Um, identifying a potential reliever um, for that slot. So when the um, we don't want to make the decision for the patient, so we're going to forward this information to the patient and let them decide. They have the option of accepting the, re the reliever that you recommended, or they can select a, uh, another time slot if they just wish to uh, to reschedule their appointment and. Their last option is to cancel the appointment, in which case they'll be refunded whatever uh, whatever was charged to them. Okay. Um, okay. Sige po. With regards to yung question niyo po kanina, I am, I am actually already using a telemedicine. Um, serious MD, and I find their uh, I find it um, uh, simple. Nagginginagamit lang po ay yung SOAP, and then provided if I can share a slide. Okay, lang I uh, my screen. Okay, lang po ba? Let me stop my share. While waiting for that, uh, yes, her may tanong si Hermie. Tayong MDs uh, mag-login or fill out ng info and sked natin sa MIS. Yes, Hermie, meron tayong mga accounts sa MIS. You just need to know your user word, which is your username, which is your actually uh, initial ng first name, middle initial, and then your last name. And then your password. 
and then you go into the MIS and fill it, fill out whatever information that they need. So lahat tayong consultants who are willing to do telemed, mapipilitan talaga kayo, lalo na pati faculty, to use your MIS. So lahat tayo required na mag, ano, kung gusto nyo mag-telemed. Uh, okay yan? Okay ka na? For those yeah. that have never logged into MIS, uh, you can contact us in IT to assist you with your username and password uh, in case you're not able to log in. Let me just post that in, in the uh, in the chat. Uh, most people who are requesting are con contacting us uh, through our uh, FB page. Uh, of course, you can also contact us through by calling the FU trunk line and being asked to be connected to the IT department. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I guess all the consultants will have to course through their inquiries through us para ma-assist namin sila, para makakausap namin kayo. Uh, with regards to doon tinatanong ulit ni Hermie, yung po bang MIS na yan, ay yun yung PhilHealth na, yung kung saan tayo nag-fill up ng PhilHealth? Yes, siya yun. Ayan, tin tinight na ni Sir JB yung ano. Okay, and then, sabi ni Dr. Custodio, do I need to fill out face-to-face -face PF even if I'm only doing telemed? No, you won't have to. You can leave the, uh, the amount for face-to-face -face blank in that case. Or we need a percent or Nichor. Um, ma'am. Uh, hindi ko pa share yung screen ko. Hindi may lumalabas na go to meeting needs to use accessibility features. Charm, uh, can you uh, can you give access to ano uh, to to yan yan? Uh, make presenter. Oh, yan na. Can you try again yan? Okay po. Share your screen. Meron pa rin. Go to meet needs to use accessibility feature. Di, sabi mo okay. Kasi we made you already presenter. Option po is... Okay, er, while we're doing that, uh, Charm, can you assist Dr. Galdones? Are there any more questions from the uh, from the group for... Sir JB, before while we are waiting for the presentation of Dr. Rayan. No more. Magkano ka na lang ako. Okay. Hello, Charlie. Uh, well, Sir JB, with regards to the with the, with regards to the EMR that we would like to put up, yung po kasi yung nakita niyo na ano na ginawa namin na telem yung sa med check na prescription. Can yes. we do the same format? Yung free writing? Kasi mas madali po kasi actually yes. free writing. Uh, I already received the, the screenshots that you sent. We're, we're making that revision now. Okay. Thank you, Sir JB. Uh, meron pong question dito, Sir JB. Is there a way for the doctor to be notified of an appointment aside from the MIS? Kasi like, Sir, sa Meditai, they text you. Eh. Do yes. We, do we Every have that? successful appointment that's created, you will receive an SMS notification. All right, and then there's another one. Can we use this plus platform even if we don't don't do clinic at the wellness center? Um, yes, you're yeah. welcome to use it. Actually, you could use it if you don't like to do face to face. Lalo na yung mga consultants natin na senior na ayo na dahil high risk, so they can do telemed with their patients through this. So thank you, though, sir. Yan, okay ka na? Hindi pa rin. Hindi pa rin. 
Pero if ang ipapakita ko lang naman po is the SOAP format. And then, uh, yung freestyle lang po yung sa S, O, at saka AP. Uh, and then, it's also an option na to, 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 yung free text. Hindi actually, yes. okay. hindi po actually um, yung tick box. Because I find it, there is an option, lalo pag mahaba po yung options, ang mas, mas tedious for for a clinician, yung naghahanap ng tick box po. Especially okay. sa physical examination. That, that, that's yes. just my my experience po with, uh, with sa okay. telemedicine. Okay. So as far as setting up a uh, freeform text, um, that's really no problem. We'll uh, we'll set up the template that way. Um, if you find that there are certain things that you're typing uh, frequently, we can create buttons for those so that uh, uh, speed up ng konte. Um, naman sa when I mentioned you tick boxes, usually ang nakikita ko dyan is. Um, it starts out with a high level na konti mo na yung options when you click on one then nag-expand nag to more detailed up until you get to uh, the specific item or uh, the st specific thing that you want to uh, to check. Um, again, that's really your preference. We'll, we'll follow however you want it set up. It can even be that within one department there are multiple Yeah. Uh, sir, we would actually like to have the free text or free format para mas madali for us. Yun po yung request. And then, there's another question um, regarding telemed. Are there charges for doctors po ba ito, Sir JB? Sir? No. Sorry, I got okay, muted. Yes, naka yes. pa lang. Okay. Are there, are there charges po ba sa telemed with regards to yung sa doctor side? May babayaran po ba sila? Um, you will not be charged for the use of the platform. But what I understand is that based on the fee that you indicate, um, if you will charge a percentage markup on that. Um, I think Dr. Petro will be issuing an official statement with regards to that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I agree. Uh, yung PF natin, guys, would be like, example, if it's 800, eh, 1,000, 800 goes to us and then 200 goes to the hospital. Another, sir, JB, from Dr. Ramos, Mark Jeremy Ramos, when will telemedicine be available for FEU? Um, we can actually make this already available the moment that either Gcash or our, our pay my account is enabled so that uh, we can start with it. Uh, until then, we, we can't really launch it because we need for the patients to be able to pay for starting the consultations. Um, the other thing there also would be uh, however long it will take us to customize the, form, the, the EMR form for you. Okay, thank you, Sir James. Yanyan, are you ready to discuss your screen? It's there already. Yan? Sorry. So um, this one, this uh, SOP form, free screen, I free text lang po siya. I can actually type in. Jan, where are you? We can't hear you. Yan, anong system yan? Yan, yan. Anong system yan? Hi. Sabi ni, sabi ni Dr. Custodio, yung kay Yan, yan daw na ginagamit is Sirius MD. 
Is it serious MDM? Uh, hello. I think so. You need to get the URL there. Okay. So basically, what that's that, that's what uh, Yanyan wants yung free text then. Kahit po kami sir, kahit dun sa med check, kahit sa yung medify nga kasi mas mas ano eh, mas primitive eh. Yung med check po may SOA pa rin okay. siya. Okay. So, and then it is better. This one is optional signs. Uh, yung naglab nag ano lang po kasi the vital kasi ako nag-explore lang ako dito. But in fire, and lang. Bayan. Hello. Yan pa ng signal mo. Nare-review. Ako eh. Pinaglalag out ko na po si ko. Oh, we can barely hear you. Okay. Okay, yan. Can you go back to that again? Hello po. Yeah, go on, go on, uh, go ahead. Okay, so like, uh, so this uh, SOAP free text is easier for us. For me, ha, I'm not sure for other consultants. And then the prescription, magta type lang po ng drug, and then lalabas na po yung mga options kung anong milligrams or the brand name. Pwede po bang ganun sa atin? And then if I will just add that. Nilalabas na po siya sa prescription. Labas na po siya. And then this can be shared to the patient. Agad may option po to save and then share to patient. Diretso na po yung prescription sa cellphone nila. Possible po ba yan? Yes, uh, we we've actually set up a form, but um, there's some modifications that we uh, that we need to apply uh, based on uh, recommendations from uh, from other doctors to simplify nga yung yung uh, prescription entry. But yes, uh, whether uh, whether you want to print it out or send it electronically, uh, pwede naman yan. Tapos yung option na pwede pong maglagay ng favorite? Yes. Kasi that medicine sa paulit-ulit lang naman na ginagamit okay. per, per, ano, per subspecialty. Okay. Magiging template I think, I think, sa... I think, that's a, I think that's a good recommendation. Yes. Yun po. Um, basically, and then sa labs, sa labs po, I find the, um, yung tick box, tick box very difficult. Kasi minsan iba ang nasa isip ko na laboratory, like CBC, yung pala sa tick box, it's a complete blood count. Yung mga ganun eh, yung, um, Okay, for that one, the way we have it set up is, um, well, it's a drop-down selection or you can uh, you can scroll through the selection or you can start typing and it will auto-complete based on kung ano yung nagmamatch dun sa tinatype ninyo. So similar dun sa entry mo for, uh, that you showed here for, uh, for prescription entry. Yes, po. Okay. And then okay. if there's an example template, if I click, for example, lupus, ayan na po, lalabas na yung medicines na we give to lupus patients uh, regularly. And then I will just edit it. I can't yeah, the door. Yan, mahirap yan. Kasi, ano, kailangan nyo ng, kailangan namin ng recommendations ninyo kung ano yung mga pang lupus, pang SLE, na medication. Kasi kayo dapat magbigay sa IT ng kung ano yung gusto ninyo and then they can have it set up pero kung sila mismo yung mak makukuha mo kagad na automatic medyo hindi it is uh, parang template template siya pero then pwede yeah you have to the, you have to give the recommendation for the template they will they will never accord that kasi wala silang idea kung ano yun 
what we can do there is we can give you a facility to save save it as a template. So if you want to group together certain meds and give it a label, then uh, you can keep on reusing that. But uh, yeah, but there's also an option. And yeah, sorry. But there's despite na template siya, Sir JD, may option pa rin na, like example. I can remove this hydroxychloroquine if the yes. patient does not need it. I still need the medicine, yes. uh, the cost of the medicine. Yes, para so parang dinadagdag siya as a group and then you are free to remove or add other meds. Apo, para mas yes. madali. There's a, there's a question here uh, from Hias. Will there be plans for service patients? What will be the plans for service patients? Uh, can they also access telemed? Uh, at this point, we haven't talked about it with regards to that sa CMO. But with the, kung mag-take off itong telemed natin, maybe we could put up also for the service patients. The, depending na sa charges, siguro pareho lang ng charges sa OPD ang ibibigay natin sa kanila. Uh, may tanong si Dr. Vic Chua. Can we have a hard copy of our EMRs if PF uh, if patient exceeded his or her time limit will there be a charge for another consult are PF of AP fixed um so, so yeah, first let, let's uh, print out yes anything that you encode um so anything that you save we're always going to create a printable format for it um the what were the other questions, sorry? Sir, pag nag-exceed daw ng time yung patient, mag another know, PF ba daw? You're free to, to stay as long as you want with the patient. So nasa sa inyo yun kung gusto nyo siya i-cut off or itutuloy ninyo. Okay. Tapos yung PF ba ng AP fix? Uh, depende po yan kung magkano po yung isi-set up yung PF. That is according to the agreement with the CMO. Ako na sumagot ng Sir JD. Yes. <laughs> And then there's another one, sir. Um, sabi ni Dr. Rabaes, can we submit commonly used meds be included on selection tick boxes? Yes, you can submit this to us or also when we give you access to the form, we also have the option to, uh, we'll have you, we'll create a form where you can encode this as well or manage it if you want to modify what's already been encoded. Okay. Yan, are you okay? Or do you have any more issues or questions for Dr. for Sir JB? So I guess sir, uh with with there are no more reactions sa group chat. Um yun lang po siguro yung concern namin, yung kung ano lang actually I uh we agree on Gus gusto namin yung free formatting ng SOAP and then yung sa mga RX lang po simplified din at kung po pwede mayroon ding free formatting. Si Dr. Acostolio ang sabi niya doon daw po sa Serious MD we can program yung mga favorites natin by just clicking favorites para kumbaga depende sa user kung ano yung gusto niyang yes. setup dun sa instead of giving you mga concoction na ito yung gusto mga favorite kong meds parang kino-customize na niya sa sarili niya kung ano yung usual medication niya. Siguro sir, mas madali yun kesa dun yes. sa magsasubmit pa sila, di ba? Yes, I, I, I agree. Yeah. And then another one, sir, if the patient, from Dr. Acostojo also, if the patient have their labs at FEU and RMF, will the results be uploaded in the telemed? Yes. Um, it's actually, just like the nurse stations, it will be linked here. So, um any results that's that comes out of our LIS will automatically be visible here. Um, the goal also is to connect the um, DIC and radiology so that the same can be done through them. So are there any more questions? Oh, yes, yes. Um, Sir JV. Kasi kung halimbawa yung telemedicine ko ay hindi oh hindi siya office hours. Uh, like for example 9 o'clock. Meron paano ang charging? 
Um, it will be the same charge. We uh, telemedicine naman. It's it's a resource that's there 24/7. It's up to you. Um, what slots you, you want? Hindi po kami dependent sa office hours ng ng uh, billing. No, because the payment is already done online. So by the time that the patient is able to um, secure an appointment, it means nakapagbayad na siya. And since it's done online, it doesn't require manual intervention by our billing staff. So JB, may question dito si Dr. Alejandro. For patients asking for clinical abstract, would a template be available as well? Uh, we can make that available. Um, basically, anything naman that we encode in our system, if you want to send it to them, pwede natin gawa ng paraan. So just let us know what are the different things that you want to be able to send to the patient. Okay. Yes. Uh, sabi ng Dr. Papi ko, same as well with Okay. Thank you, sir. Are there any more questions before I can let Sir JB go? So ma'am, there's a question from Dr. Ilagan po, ma'am. Uh, um, is it possible uh, to have a different, different PF for each subspecialty? Pardon me? Pardon me? Is it possible? What? Is it possible? That, ano po, do we have a different uh, PF for each subspecialty po? Because some would uh, set their own PF spot. Simply put, uh, I can answer for that. Uh, Sir JB won't be answering that. I can answer for that. Uh, your your PF depends on what, how much you will charge. You just have to submit to us kung magkano yung gusto nyo. There's no problem about it. Okay, pwede, pwede kayo mag-set ng gusto nyo PF. Sabihin nyo lang sa amin. Kasi kailangan sabihin nyo sa amin kasi sasabihin namin sa kanila kung magkano kayo mag-charge. Okay. Uh, will, there's a question here. Will there be a triage of sorts for walking patients? I can answer for that. This is from Dr. Acuadro. Uh, there's going to be a pre-triage area. However, we really discourage yung mga walk-in. Ang uh, mas maganda kung meron talaga silang appointment. But ang um, sabi sa amin, and uh, Sir JB can attest to this, uh, they will be helping people dun sa mga mag-walk-in to look for the for available slots ng face-to-face -face clinics para ma-accommodate sila as much as possible. So, yun yung gagawin. Tama po ba, sir? Yes. So, uh, what we want to do is if you book a face-to-face -face appointment, we want something that they can either print or be able to show from, from their mobile device para medyo mas speed up yung process when when they get to our pre-triage and verify na meron na silang pre-existing na the appointment. So, pati yung, uh, yung fill up nilang health declaration, they can they can complete that before uh, before getting getting to our pre-triage. Okay. So, may walk, question po. Uh, no, let me just, ano yung so walk in then. So, if they okay. walk in, um, uh, if your appointments are all encoded through the system already, then in the pre-triage, makikita nila kung merong available slots. In that case, pwede sabihin sa patient na uh, pwede kayong i-accommodate ngayon or pwede kayong pumasok pero mag kayo to see kung merong hindi dumating na patient. Okay. Sir, meron pa pong tanong. Sir, si Dr. Chowaho. Uh, how do you issue consultation receipts? For which one? For telemed. Telemed po. For for receipts, we uh, receipts for telemedicine. Apa. Is that the question? Yes, sir. Do we have receipts, official um, receipts for well, we, 
we can um, issue them a copy first, but if they want the official uh, receipt, I think it has to still be the um, the the paper receipt that we have here. Um, so let me verify with accounting if uh, valid your electronic copy none. Okay. Sir, another question from Dr. Baez. Is the platform or connected to the IC or radio uh, to access the image? Not initially, but as soon as we uh, we connect uh, we connect them then to our stations or our nurses stations, then we'll apply the same connectivity here in the telemedicine platform. Currently, kasi pa, uh, kakaseta pa lang ng PACS. Now we're uh, setting up a radiology information system for them as well. Okay. Sir, meron pa hong isa. For patients shifting to face-to-face -face consult from telemed, can we still use the AMR to update patient records? Yes, uh, even for face-to-face uh, -face patient na hindi dumaan sa telemed, if you want to use the template for the AMR, you're welcome to do so. Okay, may I just remind all the consultants, uh, the, platforms, the platform is ready, it's for free and it can be used. But may I remind you na hindi pa tayo mapoprovide ng hospital ng computer uh, setup sa clinics natin. So you have to provide your own laptops or desktops when you use the telemed software or platform. Yes. The part that we can offer is as soon as you, uh, in all the clinic areas, we'll make sure that there's Wi-Fi connectivity. So, yun, yun pala, libring Wi-Fi, sabi ni Sir Jamie. Yes. yes. Okay, so are there any more? I guess, Sir JB, pareho lang po yung mga questions namin nung nag-meeting tayo, yes. tsaka ngayon, ano? So, yun lang ho siguro yung concern namin yun dun sa forms and that's it. Um, we're just waiting for it to be activated para magamit na namin. Yes, I'll send out a link so that um, even if it's for a test patient, at least you can uh, do a hands-on test on, on the forms yourselves. Okay, sir. Salamat po. So, we'd like... We'd like to thank Sir JB for gracing our training camp. Salamat po ng marami sa oras ninyo and wag ko sana kayong madadala sa uulitin po, sir. <laughs> no problem. Thank po. you so much. Salamat po. Salamat. Po. Salamat. Okay, bye everyone. Charm? Thank bye. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you po. Uh, so for our next activity, we now go to online assessments in uh, Moodle. Po. So to be discussed by Dr. Gagam. Uh -huh.